Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I Love You, episode 19. If you guys do enjoy this read, they're on webtoons.com. So yeah, I don't have to wait for me to pub it, like publish out my reading version of it. But hey, if you guys like the way I read it to you guys, welcome, welcome <laughs> to the Chaotic Clan. Hello. Let's go. Um, Music. Here we go. Are you going to open it? I'll just open it when I get home. Um, anyway, you can have this gift certificate. You can watch a movie with your girlfriend. You do have one, right? Or did I miss here? Uh, yeah. Uh, you keep it though. It'll go to waste if I have it. Are you sure? Yes. Here. My phone. You offered to exchange numbers, and I accepted. Remember? I didn't exactly say that, but since you're cool with it, I guess we can exchange numbers. Here's my phone. Oh my god. They're exchanging phones. Are they exchanging phone numbers? Finally! Calm down, Maya. That doesn't mean they are a couple now. Psh. At least she's got another guy other than my brother and a redhead to boot. You do realize how terrible we both be are being, right? What do you mean? This revenge blind date? We left Shanae at the party and we paid the price. There really is no val valid reason for you to seek payback. And just now, we didn't even do anything when that lady threw her drink at Shanae. We should really keep the promise we made to Min Hyuk before we, he left. That's true. I knew it. I guess he saw the incident after all. Looks like I judged the guy too quickly. He went over the top, though. Should I really accept this, though? I wonder if he used the money I gave him. <laughs> $4.99. Small. There's something else in here. Hmm. What is that? Q-tips? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen this yet? It's so addicting. Oh my god, yes. It's so good. Didn't it just come out last week? <gasps> nah. She's overhyped, to be honest. Not a fan. You have to admit, she's really pretty. She went to my middle school. We weren't in the same class, but I know someone who was. <laughs> mm. Wings galore. Yungi. You Shanae self. I want to bleach my hair now. OMG. Same, but my mom would kill me if I did. Um, uh, excuse me. My seat? Can I? Class hasn't started yet. Can't you see all the chairs? Oh, oh, all the open chairs? Girls, just give the guy his seat. Oh, oh shit. My stomach is hurting like heck. I'm so gassy right now. I knew those leftovers smelled fishy this morning. I don't think I can hold it anymore strong enough what in the world <laughs> my ass is gonna explode <laughs> ew gross crazy nut what kind of girl announced that out loud so disgusting uh, let's just go to the hallway uh, th thanks anytime oh i forgot how to say his name hold on hold on hold on Got you in German. I forgot this guy's German. Dieter, right? Are you able to talk during lunchtime? For, for for what? There's just a few things I wanted to talk about. If you're fine with it. Hey Maya. Shanae messaged me saying she's not eating with us during lunch for today. What? Why? Do you think she's mad at me? I know I would be. Was it really that bad? Wait, I see her. Hold up, is she with... Dieter? 
You're not gonna eat anything. I left my lunch at home. Uh, I have an extra sandwich or some pineapple slices if you like fruit. It's okay. I'll eat when I get when I get home. Uh, at least take some pineapple. Uh, here. Uh, all right. Fine. But anyways, what I wanted to say. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I was just not planning on getting into a relationship with anyone. I swear I had nothing against you. Uh, it's okay. It was foolish. It foolish me to think you would reciprocate when you didn't even know my name. I'll get over it. I wouldn't mind being acquaintances. You seem like a good guy. Did Yonggi talk you into all of this? He told me he tried talking to you about me. He did talk to me, but I'm doing this of my own accord. You don't have to lie. I'm sorry if he's being bother bothering you about me. I know he can get annoying. The guy doesn't give up easily once he got his mind set on something. Yeah, I noticed. He even gave me his phone number. Oh yeah, he does that. He did the same thing with me and my friend uh, Shoshin. I was taken aback at first when he offered me his number out of the blue. So that pretty much means like he's very friendly, Yonggi. 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 Huh? Yonggi. Yongji. Yongji. I think it's Yongji. Huh? You coming with us to the movies after school or not? The whole class is going to the cinema. We're gonna go watch Detestable Me 3. Ah, I love those movies. They made a third one? Yeah, so funny. I'll pass. I don't really like those movies. Oh wait, did you say Detestable Me 3? I thought you said something else. Oh, I hate Detestable Me. Same, it's not funny. Why did you even want to watch it? <laughs> it's not funny funny. It's so bad that it's funny. I thought we could watch it just to see how bad it is. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Where are you going? Class is about to start. Heading out for some fresh air. Hold on. We'll accompany you outside. No need. I won't ta really take long, but thanks. What is up with that guy? He thinks he's above us all because of his family. You know, he's only got into the school because his father is a benefactor. It's so obvious. It pisses me off. Of course we're all here because we could afford it. But we still had to go through that damn hard interest entrance test. He got in without going through the admission process. His family's got some great connections. That's the only reason why I'm being friendly with that dude. Yeah, but where's the point in doing that? He only hangs out with his delinquent from another school. You're joking. I'm not. I saw him. Got a scar on his face too. Probably got it uh, Got it from a fight. So it's true what they they say then. Him being... Shh, don't say it out loud. Ugh, I hate Gossiper. Oh man. Or Yongji. Happy National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Oh, that looks so good. I'm this close to go to Costco and get that big box of cookies. Fresh baked cookies. Ah. Oh, it just like, just reminded me of when I was in high school and people would like spread lies about me and I, I just did not know who it came from. And like guys, like this is like towards the end of this reading anyway. So you guys are dumb. I'm pretty much done with the read, but uh, this is like a little talk about my life, you know, that just reminded me of mine because these people would talk, spread a lot of rumors about me when I was young and I was so confused as to like, who is spreading all these lies that oh that I slept with them or that, you know, um, I dated them or hooked up with them behind the school and I did X, Y, Z with them. And I was like, what you know and that time you know i still have my v card you know like i was a really like sheltered child 
and you know especially the one where like oh i am a b and it whoever spread that rumor caused a lot of people who were my friends to not be my friends uh during high school and i was very isolated i had a lot of friends in like freshman year like um sophomore year and suddenly junior year i was alone and i didn't understand why until now that i'm an adult you know like this person who we became friends again told me what happened like oh it's because of this person and it's crazy because this person who was who spread that rumor was my best friend the entire time the entire time all the way till to that point to my adulthood right and once i found out the truth and i confronted that person i was like did you, were you the one who did this and it was a guy he was a guy it was because i didn't give him the chance to be my boyfriend like i didn't want to date him because i saw him as my best friend and i didn't want to ruin that i didn't realize he was the one who did this and I was just like, man, you're like a little B, you know, like that's such a little B thing to do, you know? And it broke my heart. Anyways, that just gave me a little flashback of that moment. And yeah, sorry for rambling. I do, I usually do that towards the end of my read. So you guys want to like stick around and listen to me jabber. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed the way I reacted and read and how I read this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!